We were like kids in a candy factory, or matzah factory, that is. I never knew how matzah got to the box until we went to the Streitz factory. Let's see how matzah is made. First, 50,000 pounds of flour are stored in these silos. Water sits in those big containers until it's time to head up to the mixing room. In order for matzah to be kosher for Passover, it has to be made in 18 minutes or less. The clock starts once the flour is mixed with water. Then the dough goes back down to get flattened. That's when my favorite part happens, the stippler. This device pokes holes in the matzah. Here's a stippler from 100 years ago from Streit's original factory on the Lower East Side. And here's a modern one. Then the matzah dough gets sliced and baked in this giant oven that fills a whole room. Finally, it gets sorted by amazing robots and humans and sealed in these pink boxes. We matzah fluencers were given a tour by Aaron, who's a fifth generation Streitz family member. Imagine working in the same place as your great grandpa. I love supporting a family business. Plus this year, Streitz boxes got even cooler because they also feature PJ Library. See if you can find these in your local supermarket. Subscribe to PJ Library to receive free Jewish children's books each month and share this video for matzah inspiration.